Now we'll talk about derivative of trigonometric function and we're going to find the first derivative of uh, each function. The first one is y is equal to x cubed sine 1 half x. For this one, no, in finding the derivative of this one, we're going to apply the product rule. No? And the product rule states that the derivative of the product u and v is equal to uh, v in the second term times the derivative of the first plus the first term u times the derivative of the second term v so dv over dx so we'll apply this product rule here now so dy over dx is equal to the first uh, the second term sine 1 of x and derivative of the first of this x cube here plus x cube derivative of the second term sine 1 of x so continue sine 1 of x and then derivative of x cube is 3x squared plus x cube derivative of the second term sine 1 of x is called sine 1 of x times the derivative of uh, 1 of x so 3x squared no this one we move this one in front 3x squared sine 1 of x plus x cube cosine 1 of x, the derivative of 1 of x is 1 half. So, to continue, we have here 3x squared sine 1 of x plus x cubed over 2 sine cosine 1 half x. No? So, this is our answer. So, for our second exercise, w is equal to sine to the fourth y, cosine to the fourth y. Uh, similarly, we apply the product rule. So dw over dy is equal to cosine to the fourth y and the derivative of the first term is sine to the fourth y plus sine to the fourth y, the first term, times the derivative of the second term cosine to the fourth y. So finding the uh, cosine to the fourth y and the derivative of the sine to the fourth y is 4 sine cube y d over dy of sine y plus sine to the fourth y uh, co for cosine cube y and then the derivative of cosine y over dy so to continue we have here cosine to the fourth y for sine cube y the derivative of sine y is cosine y plus sine to the fourth y for cosine cube y, derivative of cosine y is negative sine y. And then we have here uh, cosine to the fourth and plus co uh, times cosine to the fourth, uh, cosine y is cosine to the fifth y. So this one, we move this one in front. For cosine to the fifth y, sine cube y minus this one is sine to the fourth and sine y, sine to the fifth y. 4 cosine cube y. So we factor out 4 cosine for these two terms here. 4, factor out 4 cosine cube y sine cube y. What remains inside the parentheses is cosine squared y minus sine squared y. So we have a, 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 a small review on uh, our basic trigonometry identities now. Sine, the double angle formula is sine 2y is equal to 2 sine y cosine y. No? That is the basic uh, double angle formula. If we square this one, we'll get sine squared 2y for sine squared y cosine squared y. So this uh, identity we apply this one to this, no? To where we stop, no? So this one is 4 cosine cube y, sine cube y. So we apply this one. So sine squared 2y is equal to uh, cosine squared, no? 
uh, sine squared y, two squared y and cosine squared y. So what remains is cos. So this is cubed. So cosine y sine y times what remains here, which is cosine squared y minus sine squared y. So this one, since this is uh, one up of this one, no. So we divide this as uh, double angle formula. So we get one half of this one, one half of sine two y, cosine squared two y, because cosine two y is equal to cosine squared y minus sine squared y. So this one is equal no. So sine squared two y times one half sine two y times cosine two y. Note that cosine squared two y is equal to cosine squared y minus sine squared y. So our final answer is this one. No? We just move uh, this one up here in front, no, and then we add no the exponent no so we have here one half sine cube two y cosine two y so this will be our final answer so thank you for watching and uh, please continue uh, viewing all the videos and subscribe to my youtube channel by will and uh, don't forget, uh, forget to click the uh, bell uh, bell icon thank you and see you later